Cliff Notes versions, where are you now? Sort of what's happened at this point? Yeah, we're just at an impasse. Uh, you know, I, I can't sign this document because it's so poorly worded, and, and they are required, their hands are tied to make sure that everyone, uh, every team member is, is signed it. So, uh, unless they're willing to sit down with me and renegotiate uh, the terms, rewrite it so that it actually uh, is not ambiguous, and I, we know that we're not going to be bullied, we know what our responsibilities are, I can't sign it. But as we talked about before, there is some room for interpretation within the document. So if you were to get assurances from USATF that you could wear what you wanted to All they got to do is define the terms, terms that they use in the contract, but they were refused to do that. And a verbal assurance wouldn't be good No, enough. absolutely not. No, I, I've had verbal assurances from USATF before. I want it in writing. And uh, why now? What, why is it? draw this line in the sand now? I drew this line in the sand with the day I signed with Brooks and uh, at 2014 World Championships I didn't sign this document. So the fact that they've been telling me that it's mandatory all along, I'm like, well I didn't sign it last year. Um, it's just, I've, I've been in this game for 10 years now and I've seen governing bodies steal money and bully and threaten and abuse athletes and I'm just so fed up with it and I don't want to put on the USA singlet unless I know that, the, that my teammates who are also wearing that singlet are being treated right. And this is a, potentially a pretty big sacrifice for you. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about potentially lot, losing out on hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, if you medal, the prize money, the uh, appearance fees that follow, the bonuses, uh, it's a great deal of money that I'm, I'm risking out, risking losing here. But again, it's it's not about the money anymore. Uh, maybe, maybe early on in the career it was about the money. Now it's about doing what's right for the, the sport. I, I've been given so much from this sport, and I've always, I've, I'm, I'm an Eagle Scout, Troop 94, and we always believe to leave the campground better than you found it. And right now, the campground is full of trash, and I can't leave the sport until it's cleaned up a little bit. What are the odds are that between now and Sunday night, you're gonna be able to come start to some sort of accommodation? I, I've got all the time in the world. Max has my number, uh, they have my email address. I'm happy to sit down and outline the terms of this contract, but thus far, every, every, uh, well, Max, Max has been great to work with, to be honest, but every every time I've tried to get the terms clarified or, or, or express my my um, frustrations, uh, I've been met with a, a, a email from their, their attorney, uh, their general counsel, saying, sign it by Sunday or else. And how does Brooks feel about this? I mean, they, on Brooks one hand, they me. probably yeah. like you standing up. I love Brooks. They yeah. like to see They're the run happy company, and they knew what they were getting when they when they signed me in 2013, 2014. Um, you know, this is something that's that's really important to me, and, and so I don't know that they want to be dragged into this fight, but they're happy to uh, make sure I have the best training gear possible, and they say we support you in everything that you're doing, uh, and they just want it, they want to see me race because they know how hard I've worked. I mean. If, if, you, if you've been following me on Instagram or Twitter, you've seen the workouts I've been putting up. Um, you can go on to Sweat Mobile. It's an application we just launched where I publish my training log. You can go back and see the workouts I've been doing. I'm fit. I'm ready to win a medal. But again, I don't want to win a medal knowing that I'm just going to walk away with that medal and, and then leave the campground filthy. The campground's got to be fixed. And you look at IAAF and the, and, the, and the crap that they're going through right now, which they deserve. Um, you look at USATF and the way they've muddled up every situation that they've been in in the last four or five years, like, let's fix this. And I'm willing to work. They got my number, they got my email address, I'll work tirelessly for free to help right, right this wrong. But they've got to involve the athletes, and, and thus far, they really haven't. And you've gotten a lot of support from other athletes. Oh yeah, overwhelming. I mean, like I said, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy Warner reached out on Twitter, um, a couple other athletes have reached out on Twitter and said, hey, we back you and good luck with everything. Um, you know, I'm not asking for the athletes to boycott Beijing. I understand they need to go and earn a living. I'm in a really fortunate position now. Um, as an entrepreneur, uh, I've got I've got other other source, sources of income. You know, Run Gum is doing really well. Run Gum's a caffeinated gum product that we launched earlier this year, and um, you know that 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 gives me the freedom to uh, to not be be 100% tied down to income on the track, and uh, and it allows me to, to say the things that I've been wanting to say for a long time. If you choose not to sign and they decide you're going to have to sign, do you see this going to court or what do you think? It might have to. I mean, I, I, again, I've been talking to a couple of attorneys and, and we're going to wait and see what actually happens on Sunday night uh, and then we'll have to decide. But I, I'm, not, I'm not sitting here trying to sue people. I just want to sit down and change this document forever so that we don't have to deal with the bullying and the um, ambiguity and uh, 
the, the gray area that they, are, that they like to play in. There needs to be a contract where both parties understand what they're entering into. And right now, the way the contract's written, the statement of conditions, is so ambiguous that no one knows how to interpret it. Thanks, Nick. Thank Good you. luck to you. Thanks.